Hello everyone, we are back once again as we are here always, 1.30 every Tuesday Pacific Standard Time. Uh, today I have a very special guest with me today, Delinda Crampton. Uh, and uh, woohoo! Yes, 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 Delinda, yes. Um, you know what? We are going to share some very interesting information and questions that come up from a lot of different sales executives. So she's really going to shed some light on what she's doing that one utilizes the social media, but really takes on video in a big way. So first of all, Delinda, welcome. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Well, glad to have you. Glad Always. to have you. Always. Um, all right. So for why don't you start off so we can give everyone watching a little setup of your brokerage within a brokerage, your group overall. So stick sure. with Sure. So the Crampton team consists of, I've got four on the admin side. I've got a transaction manager. I've got a listing manager and a client care representative, and then also a marketing director. And then I've got two buyer specialists on the agent side, and then I do most of the listings. Wow. Um, and first of all, congratulations on doing right about at $50 million last year. So Thank you. that's another clap. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, nice sound effects there. <laughs> all right. Everything I'm reading is about video, video, video. Um, and you, what I love is you've really taken video to that next level and you're not doing it you know, once in a blue moon, you've created a system around and a consistency around this. So I love processes and that's what you've done. So l let me ask you a couple things of what you're doing on a video aspect and then kind of just share um, just what's going on with it. Sure. Every month you send out a video to your entire database, not social media, but Correct. just to your entire database. Tell us what what information, what content do you share with your database overall? Yeah, so I'll just start with like a couple of the recent ones. At the end of the year in December, I was sharing about, hey, you know, what did our mark, what's a market recap? What can we expect for the coming year? And then in January, I was doing trends that we're seeing across the country. So it's usually real estate related in some way. I try to give information that people will find useful. Um, yeah, and, and something that's not going to be a waste of their time to watch. Okay, and you know what? Do you uh, how often do you get feedback from clients when they have viewed your video, ask questions, anything along those lines? Right. Yeah. Sometimes they will share comments, and my marketing director sees those. She sends them to me, and I'll respond back. Um, you know, sometimes it's like, "Hey, I loved this video," or "This was great information," or "I love these videos that you do." You know, thanks so much for doing them. Keep it, keep it up. That kind of stuff. Okay. So I love always being authentic, relaxed when you share. So mm -hmm. on those same videos, just give us an idea of how do you sh shoot them? I mean, are they super casual, super comfortable? Are you doing it from your phone alone? H how's that? How's yeah. That so there is like almost zero professionalism to it because <laughs> we're shooting them on an iPhone, and I did buy like a little microphone. So my client care rep who takes an assistant role as well. We'll shoot it on the iPhone. He'll have a little, you know, a doohickey on his end um, so he can hear, make sure the audio is okay. And then we play it back afterwards too. But really most of the time it's just one single shot. Uh, sometimes my marketing director will, if I have to do a couple different spots, we'll edit that together. And then she sticks on uh, a tag thing at the end. Uh, sometimes she'll add a little music under and it's really that simple, but not all of them have music. Okay. You know, I hear so many times that comes back to me as people get paralyzed and they never do it because there's, they think it's so difficult. Mm -hmm. But I, I noticed that even when we were preparing for today, you're just really comfortable. You just shoot, you give good content, something that's valuable. And that's right. more important than this, you know, I'm a professional photographer trying to figure all this yeah. out. Yeah. So for example, like uh, during COVID and the quarantine, when forbearance came out, I was doing a video on forbearance and what's that mean to you and should I do it or not? Um, and then I did videos that were on the personal side of things too. Um, during the quarantine, I really leaned into video. I was doing at least two videos a week to my database and I would try to make one business related like forbearance, for example. And then I would try to do something on the personal front. 
such as, you know, hey, you've got all these homeschool kids now, you know, here's some tips from some of my homeschool mom friends and, and what they recommend. Or, you know, even though you're stuck at home, here's some fun things that you can be doing as a family. You know, here's some things to take advantage of your time, whether it's, you know, a house cleaning project or organizing or whatever. So just giving useful information. So I try to mix personal and business with a little more of a slant towards business. All right. And so, listen, accomplishing just about 145 units last year, which is uh, it's just amazing within itself. Tell me, separate, and I've got other videos that I want to ask you about, but mm -hmm. how do you shoot them? I mean, you know, give me the longevity of this. Are you doing one a day? How does that work? So um, Wednesdays are my team meeting. And so right after that, we will shoot a dialogue with, Del with Delinda in my office. And literally, I am standing behind my desk. And behind me, you can see where it says the Cramp Museum on the wall. And there's a couple photos. You can go on Facebook and see some of those. And I just keep a folder of ideas and stuff that I come across. Like, say, there's new um, loan guidelines put out, new loan limits. Well, that's going to become a dialogue with Delinda, for example. Or say I see something on remodeling and, hey, here's the return you're going to get on this. Uh, I did something at tax time uh, related to homeowners. So I'm constantly, as I get emailed stuff or I'm reading the industry news, if I or like lots of times I'll get video ideas just from the Realtor magazine. And I'll write video on top, rip out the page and put it in my video folder. So I'm constantly collecting ideas. So I'm never struggling for an idea on a week. And sometimes I'll shoot two, three, four of them in one day. Okay. I should be changing outfits, but I don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, that way we're getting some in the can. So ideally, I like to be two to four weeks ahead at any point on my videos. All right. So, and you touched on uh, dialogue with Delinda. So that's yes. one of your things that you do on a consistent basis, which is awesome. You know, then of course... Your marketing person is sharing that throughout all social media from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Google My Business, Twitter, LinkedIn, even all some over. TikTok. Even <laughs> some TikTok. TikTok is new to us. Yeah, that's, that's, good. that's okay. But that's the rage now. I know. That is the rage. Um, all right. So that's awesome. Good Two good contents about business stuff. Now, here's an interesting one. You also do a consistent video to other realtors. Talk about that. Yes. So I literally have hundreds and hundreds of realtor relationships that I've made over the years around the country. And so once a month, I am doing a video to my realtor friends. And what I've been doing is going to different landmarks in Vegas and then talking about those. And at the end of the video, asking for the referral. Hey, if you know of anyone who's looking to move to Vegas, you know, please let me know. And so, so far I've shot, I just did one at the stadium. I did one down on the strip and I talked about the incredible room rates. Um, where else? The welcome to Vegas sign. I did one there and I talked about when I was there, there was actually no line. And so I talked about, you can actually come get your photo off and not have anyone in the way, take as long as you want. And, and I related a personal story while I was there of my cousin who had a second, it was his second time to get married. And so they went and just did the fun Elvis marriage at the welcome to Vegas sign. Yeah. So I, I, I try to keep, you know, mix in personal as well. Well, you know, people don't realize, you know, that is business. You know, other realtors are looking for someone to connect with when they have business. Mm -hmm. And you're making it easy for them through video, all right, just to have that connection. And let's face it, you know, top of mind too. You know, even someone who knows you and maybe knows other realtors, it's nice to always have you in their face. You're the one going, don't don't forget about me. And so that that's powerful. All right, this next one. Um, I think is just innovative and super powerful, specifically in what we all went through with, with COVID. You do a video on a consistent basis where you uh, take a local business and you spotlight it. Yes. Okay. Talk about that. Yes. Yeah, so it is a weekly business spotlight and I have done themed ones. For example, several months back, I did a month in Henderson of like local coffee shops and then I took that and then followed up in the northwest side of town in Summerlin 
and focus for a month on coffee shops because who doesn't love discovering a great new coffee shop? And then during COVID and the quarantine, when so many were struggling, I actually took a month and I focused on great nonprofit organizations that were out there helping people like Hope Link was one of them. And so I did a business spotlight on those. Um, then what I did recently was I looked at, okay, what new businesses have opened up? And so I went and I highlighted them because, I mean, if you're a new business, you can use all the marketing and getting the word out there. Um, you know, you need every little bit of it. Oh and so I go to them and I let them know, hey, this is just one of my ways I'm giving back. There is no cost to you. It's just free marketing and advertising. We'll be in and out in no more than 15 minutes. Um, usually what I'll go is I'll go in and I'll chit chat with the manager or the owner first and just find out, you know, hey, you know, what makes you guys unique? What makes you special? What is different about you? Because I like to focus on that in the video. And then if it's a restaurant, I like them to share with me, you know, what are the most popular dishes or your most unique dishes? I've actually done ones where like we've been eating the food and, and sampling it. And those are the ones that needed just a little bit of editing. Um, so, and I, I really try to do a whole mix, um, run a whole different range of types of business spotlights that I do and they're all around town. Yeah. You know, we struggle as realtors to think about how do we break in and, and have a conversation? We don't want to walk in there and go, you know, hi, nice to meet you. I want referrals. So, you know, how do we really break in? And I think mm -hmm. this is one powerful for the business. So needed always. Uh, and again, specifically in what we went through this last year, um, but what a great way to start building that rapport and that opportunity to say, look it, we're all working together to get through this. Here's a nice little gift, okay, that I can provide. They're never going to forget you. They're never going to forget you. And I remember us, us talking about this when you were telling me about it, about now you're incorporating in a kind of a, a sign-in sheet, getting kind of information so mm -hmm. you can add them to your database. And now right. start communicating to them like you would any sphere. But guess what? You've got it in your back pocket of remember, we came in, we did a video about your restaurant or whatever. And I think, you know, when you're in real estate, you're constantly refining things. And we've been doing these videos now, the business ones for about a year. And like the whole sign in sheet, you know, that's something new that we're just starting. Like, you know, I really, you know, that's a refinement that I should have been doing from the get go that I wasn't. Yeah, but that, you know, listen, all these. And, and, and what really saves it is the consistency. When you're mm -hmm. doing something on a consistent basis, over time you learn about, you know what, why don't we tweak this? Why don't we change yep, this? Yep, absolutely. You, you know, and that comes, it's when we do stuff heck and peck, we miss that opportunity. So yeah. I'm just very impressive to do this. And all one thing I want to mention sure. too with those is I let them know, you know, when we post it, we're going to tag you. Feel free to share that on your social media if you like. Yeah. And if I know the date, I tell them the date and I said, we'll also remind you when it's coming up. Sure. Yeah. So now if they're sharing it to, for example, their Facebook friends, you're now interacting with people you would have never got to interact right. with. Right. True. Yeah. So yes. that's, no, it's just, it's just powerful. I have to say, I, I took it upon myself to have a conversation with your marketing person. Okay. <laughs> Mike Lean. And, you know, one of the things I also liked is she says, you know what I also do based on what's really going on, that's authentic you know, dealing with lifestyle, community, some of the videos that you've done can be repurposed mm -hmm. and reutilized, okay, and resent out because they're relevant at that moment in time. Right. Um, and, and I thought that was really powerful. One, she was very attuned to it and she knew, okay, we can use this, we can send that out. Plus, let's face it, it's also a time saver and it gives more quality content. Yeah, uh, well, and speaking of quality content, something else that she's done is put it on my Berkshire Hathaway website under the blog section. And so if you were to go on my website and do the drop-down bar, you can see all these videos that I've done. So it adds content to your website too. Yeah, yeah, and that's great. And it, it makes you real and it's not static. Um, that's great. Anything else that you would want to share with the viewers, give them some insight, even some stuff that you learn that you go, okay, don't do this, okay? And anything at all that you want to share? Uh, I would say if you're going to do the microphone thing, like don't get the cheapest microphone. You don't have to go super high end. I would recommend get a mid-range and uh, just look at the reviews. Um, that would be one thing. We okay. ended up having to buy a second microphone because the first one 
probably wasn't quite as good a quality as we should have gotten. Um, and then I would say like, take a couple deep breaths, be yourself. If you don't get it right the first time, you know, feel free to retake. But there's sometimes like, I intentionally don't fix my flubs because it makes you more real. Amen. Yeah, I, I, I will tell you, and, I, and I've had people come to me and just look at some of the videos that I've done and they said, you know, Mark, we can really tweak those and really take out some, and I said, you know what? I would rather be authentic. I would rather have that because they know this is not a TV commercial. This is set up to communicate. There's going to be flubs in there. Uh, and and I think that's okay too. I think it, it, like you said, it makes you real and it certainly keeps it authentic. So. Yeah. I was watching a video that one of my realtor friends in another state sent me last week. And like during it, she was just like laughing and like you could tell it was so off the cuff. But I loved it because it was so real. Yeah. Well, you know, let me tell you, I like I said, is I'm been sold on that forever. Um, well, let me say this. Video is here to stay. Um, and I would recommend, regardless that you do it around your thought process, your ideas, uh, I recommend take what Delinda has done here and create your consistent system, whatever that is, okay, it's yours, but do something on a consistent basis because that is so different than I hear some people doing you know, they do one house video, then they try this or that. Do you do, and I didn't see that, do you do any videos of any properties along those lines where you take people through? So um, for a while before we got so short on listings, every weekend at 10 a.m. I was doing a virtual live open house on Facebook. And then we would record that and repost it and repurpose it. Um, I, I need to do the house walkthroughs because I have heard that you could get some really good engagement on those. I have not done those yet, but that's something that I need to add. Um, I'm trying to think your question. Have you done other videos? Yeah. Oh, of listings. Yeah. Uh, sometimes my marketing director will put together a video. Uh, we do the 3d tours. So you've got video there. Uh, but she will take video that we have and, or collage some pictures together to create a video and add music to that. And then use that on social media too. Okay. Um, if anyone has any questions for you, mm -hmm. uh, how would they reach you? Um, probably the best way is my cell phone, okay. which is 702-219-3144 or emailing me. And my personal email is my first and last name, Delinda Crampton at Gmail. All right. Delinda, thank you so You're much so for taking my some pleasure. time to share. Everybody, video, 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 consistent, consistent, and stay authentic. I have to tell you, next week, all right, you, need, you can't miss this one either. We are going over Apex. I'm having the head of Apex, Fred, been on, and two things. We're going to go over realistic examples of how we're using Apex and how strongly it's affecting your buyers and sellers and I have a very big surprise for all of the Berkshire Hathaway Home Services sales executives that attend that day. And I promise you, you don't want to miss this surprise that I'm going to share regarding Apex. Have a great week, everybody. If you like today, please, as always, like, share, and follow. See you next week, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.